Hey guys, I want to share something with you today the Lord's been speaking to me about um, just today and, and also this weekend as well. Um, it's something that I hear often. It's something that I hear from you in messages. It's something that I hear whenever I'm ministering. And a lot of people come up to me and you say this. You say, Ali, I just feel so unlovable. I feel unworthy. Um, I feel like I've made too many mistakes, right? My past is pretty bad. The things I've done. And if you really knew me, if you really knew who I am and what I deal with and what I struggle with, there's no way you could love me. There's no way that you would say that God can love me. And it angers me when you guys say that because the devil has lied to you. It's a lie. It's a lie from hell. And that's all the devil can do is lie. And he wants you to believe that you're not worth anything. And a lot of times it begins placing thoughts of, I don't even deserve to be on this earth, right? My life has no purpose because I'm not loved, I'm not valued, I'm not needed. And what I want to tell you is this, man, God's word says the exact opposite. And what I want to read to you right now is out of Romans. It's Romans chapter 8 and verse 38. And what the word of the Lord says is this, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Listen, the world has this really jacked up, a uh, distorted view of what love is. We believe that v that love is is a feeling, right? It's an emotion. I feel something, right? You get those butterfly feelings, and so I feel like I love you. But then what happens when all of a sudden you don't feel like loving that person or that thing anymore? God's love is not like that. Emotions are fickle. They fade, right? There's nothing consistent about them. And God's love is the opposite. It's a love of choice. It's an agape love. It means he's chosen you in your mess right now, wherever you are, whatever's gone on in your past. I don't care what you did an hour ago. He loves you. And there is nothing you could ever do that would make God not love you. And anything that tells you different is a lie. It is not God. And when we feel his love, when we experience that love of God in the fullness, it drives out every fear and every lie that said something different. Listen, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you've experienced in the past. I don't know what your mistakes are, but I know this. They don't change God's love for you. God loves you and he loves you right where you are. And that is what's true and that will never change. So the question is not always, does God love us? Does God choose us? It's do we wanna choose God? Because when we choose God, that's when we get to experience everything he has for us, okay? God's not scared of your past. He's not scared of the mistakes. He's not scared of the failures or the shortcomings. No, he loves you in all of them. And he wants to take them upon himself so that he can help heal you and change you and deliver you so that you run in freedom and love as well, all right? And let's be a people that choose to love people. Not because we feel like it. No, we choose them because Christ loved us first. And we're called to share that love with everyone around us, all right? The word of God says we'll be known by our love. And just remember this, you guys, God shows you before you were ever even a thought in your mother's womb. He loves you, and there's nothing you can do in that choice that he chose you that will ever make him not love you, okay? I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.